Who is Ryujin? The real Ryujin. The Ryujin we don't know. Welcome back to Idol Deep Dive, the show where we take a look at the stories behind our favorite idols and figure out what we can learn from them. Chances are, if you're watching this, you've never seriously considered becoming a trainee. Just statistically speaking, a lot of you guys have had other plans, like going to college, getting a degree, and earning yourself a salary. And Shin Ryujin was no different. So why then did we get this? Weather's good, makeup on flick. Rocking my bad, it's boots on my way to show off. See my hair back, looking right into your face. I'ma cut you off clean, blowing kisses goodbye. So, uh, what happened with that college degree? Okay, right. Today, we're going to find out how Nugent's life was able to take such a dramatic turn, and how she worked her way up to becoming an ace idol in one of the biggest companies in K pop. One might say her casting into JYP was blind luck, but that's not the full story. Also, we'll find out what she thinks about the idol experience and what she's learned from it, but only by going all the way back to the very beginning. Shin Ryujin was born on April 17, 2001 in Gangwon province, but later moved to Seoul. She had one older brother and was a quiet child with a huge appetite for mischief. <laughs> She also had a huge appetite for food. She's always liked food. Later, her top career goal became graduate from a good college. She didn't even know what in, just something. Now, her grand ambitions of having a degree were, fortunately, cut short when she was scouted outside the bathrooms of a GOT7 concert that she went to without telling her parents. What level of overwhelming vibes and coolness do you need to have so that the company scouts you while you're just going about your business at one of the noisiest, fangirliest places there is? Well, let's just say it wasn't all fate. <laughs> That's right, Nujin, in a true mastermind play, organized her own casting. Now, that's the first time I've heard someone come out and say it. So, great work, Nujin. You gamed the system. Now, it's too bad you couldn't game your mother's trust. While her mom was mad about her sneaking off to the concert, her parents came around and let her go for it. Ryujin thus became a trainee at JYP Entertainment. And Ryujin had quite the trainee experience. So much so that this will be the longest trainee segment in any deep dive so far. So buckle in. For the first three years of training, she was more excited than anything. Meeting Yeji, she gave her a giant hug. Like this. Her relationships with the trainees and pre-debut ITZY members have always been and still are precious to her. She has fond memories of waking up with Cheryong at 6.30 a.m. and taking the hour-long trip to Hanlim Art School, not to mention all the sauna and restaurant visits with her members. But the trainees also supported Ryujin's extraordinary appetite for competition. <laughs> Yujin thrives under pressure. The tighter the competition, the more she's filled with motivation. For me, the pressure helps me do more, dance more, or present better stages. We've covered competitive idols before on this channel, <coughs> honey, <coughs> but their best advice was to compete with themselves. With Ryujin, she seemed to embrace the mindset of winning, and that's valid. At a big three company with colossal expectations on your shoulders, comparing your skill level to the people around you gives you real insight as to where you are. But make no mistake, this competitiveness had its roots in admiration. What I've noticed is Ryujin admires many people and uses that admiration to better herself. For example, <laughs> Or how about this? 
I change clothes quickly, so I watch my members' individual performances quite closely. I feel so proud of my members, who make me think, you can do a performance in this way too, and they completely fill up the stage on their own. So it seems her admiration extends even to her own members. Really, Yujin is stronger when she looks at the people around her. So while Hani's mom's advice to compete with yourself is true, that's not to say that paying attention to other people is bad. A mix of both is great. Being open to learning from others' achievements while pushing yourself to achieve the same. But that wasn't the only reason she worked so hard. One other reason was her pessimism? <laughs> By practicing day and night, she was able to eliminate any and all doubt of failure. Well, mostly. This is evident with how the members agree she pays the most attention to detail in choreography out of all of them. And it was this attention to detail and expressiveness that set her apart. When she was chosen to audition for 2017's reality show Mix 9, she really showed her stuff. When I was a trainee, I honestly thought I was the best. Side note, she realizes this isn't true now and that she had a long way to go, but basically, yeah, she held herself to pretty high standards. I was confident that I was good at dancing and sure that I looked cool when dancing. Given that, dancing always made me happy. Her passion for dance and her attention to detail and expressions culminated in her grabbing the attention of all who watched Mix 9 on release, myself included. She held the number one position consistently throughout the show, and that, that's definitely an ego boost. Now, despite all this, Yujin's pessimism was truly unstoppable. What do I mean? Listen to this. After attending JYP training, Yujin admits that she wasn't expecting to make it into the girl group. It was very weird because there were so many trainees at JYP. There were so many pretty and talented people. I was surprised that I was chosen. You were surprised, Yujin? Like, number one on Mix 9? I don't even care if you were chosen before the show was filmed. Just judging from the dance audition, I mean, come on! If you made two of the big three CEOs smile from your performance, that's gotta say something. But yes, she was chosen for debut. And that's when the true battle began. Yujin is comfortable sharing how much she struggled during this time. As she was to debut in JYP's new girl group, arguably the first major fourth gen girl group ever, all she could do was practice from morning to night. And no matter who you are, that takes a toll. But that doesn't mean she didn't have coping mechanisms. She'd take walks at the Han River when it was dark to avoid being recognized. That was her meditative space, where she could reflect on everything without the expectations of those around her. Sometimes she'd even go with the other members. That's part of a reoccurring pattern I've noticed. Yujin really values quiet moments, times to reflect. I guess that's because she's an INTJ. Heck, she reads while listening to jazz, scientifically proven to be the chillest pastime on earth. But even after all that practice, when it came time to debut, doubts filled her mind. But then they debuted, and everything was hunky-dory. <coughs> Got something in my throat there. Now, like so many idols, the image of Yujin in the music videos and her real self are very dala dala. 
Ryujin in real life has still been figuring out who she is, and who she wants to be, but the songs help with that. I've gotten a ton of inspiration while singing about being yourself and being confident in your emotions and preferences. I'm still confused about what kind of person I am and what I like, but I at least immerse myself in finding that. On one hand, Ryujin is undoubtedly a person who enjoys showing her skills to the world. That's the driving passion that made her an idol, after all. But on the other hand, she values privacy and chances to think things through. She still holds on to doubts, and often the other members of ITZY don't even know what she's going through. She likes to keep it inside. <laughs> But gradually, she's learned the power of words. That some things are worth breaking out of your shell to say. My members probably know this. That although I am not good at expressing myself, I try really hard to say a lot of words of praise and support. That's how I gradually realized the power of words. I've learned how important words like I'm sorry and thank you are, and that while willingly admitting a mistake is difficult, it's a valuable attitude. It makes sense then that one of Ryujin's closest friends in the industry is Karina. They're both idols focused heavily on self-improvement, while keeping in mind the people around them. Side note, she calls Cheryong and Karina honey. Yep, just them. Don't ask me. And speaking of endearment, one thing Ryujin has definitely discovered about herself post debut is that she's a chick magnet. <laughs> You're so handsome, please. Thank you. <laughs> 언니 정말 사랑해요. 열심히 벌어서 다음 생에 여자친구 할 테니까 어제 방송한 셀카 올려주시면 안 돼요, 제발. 류진아, 언니와 결혼해라. 언니는 스물한 살인. 넌 언니? 나란 녀석. 여친을 몇 명을 둔 거야. So it's no secret why Yujin is such an ace. She worked endlessly, day and night, to live up to the JYP name, paying close attention to her weaknesses and inspired by others' strengths. She values self-exploration and communication, and makes sure to keep the fans in mind. I'm thankful that Midzi has made me into a person who thinks about how to return love. And although I say this often, I want them to know they're also cool and beautiful just as they are. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more. Did I miss anything? Make sure to tell me why you like Ryujin. Alright, see you guys next time. Annyeong!